All right, we got the range test for the Beast Board Mini today. I'm wary that my Rode Wireless is a little bit flat on battery, so we might have to change throughout uh, the ride. So apologies in advance. Let's get going and I'll check in along the way. All right, so this one's got a 12S 3P battery configuration coming in at 260 watt hours. So it states that it will get 21 to 27 kilometers with an 80 kilo rider. So that to me sounds a little bit ambitious. I think it will be a good result at the price range on a mini board if that's what we can get, especially with the bigger wheels, which uh, these are 105s. They tend to reduce the range a little bit. So we'll um, see how we go. Tracking on Relive as well, as always. I will check in as we drop down a bar. Now I'm sure Beastboard would tell you that the battery is Chinese Samsung, like the last one I did, whatever that means. But I have a question if you want to answer in the comments below. Would you like to see all manufacturers offer the opportunity to choose a bigger non-branded uh, battery? Or would you, um, and, and what would you do? If you have the options at the same price range, how much bigger does that non-branded battery have to be for you to consider getting it? Because in my experience so far, the cheaper batteries still perform pretty well. I'm seeing still a lot of the, the bigger brands use non-branded batteries, the bigger Chinese brands. I know it affects longevity, but how much so? I think it's an interesting discussion. Have you had any boards with, uh, you know, cheaper batteries that have really impressed you over a long period of time? Let me know down below. So it's the last uh, good day on the forecast to come out and ride. It's uh, 18, 19 degrees at the moment. Meant to get a bit warmer, hopefully, if these uh, clouds burn off. But as you can see, the leaves are changing. So speed mode 2 seems to fit the, um, the build pretty well in terms of tracking the battery along with the, um, the ranges that they state on the website. So it maxes out at 31, 32 kilometers an hour. So I'm pretty cruisy and comfortable just going along at this speed. Just had to test my skills and bail off the board there for a couple of cyclists cutting a corner. As I said in the first impressions of this board, uh, these wheels can lock up pretty easily if there's any you know, debris or anything like that on the road. So yeah, test your limits before you go up to 30 k's and the likes of what I'm doing today because you might have to bail off the board if you're sharing the road. Lucky that one didn't end up in a disaster and there was a little bit of grass to jump off into. Still not completely with the still not completely happy with the truck setup on this board. I have got my T-tool in my pocket. I'm not just happy to see you. Um, yeah, I, I played around with it yesterday. I played around with the trucks yesterday um, as an idea to do a bit of a speed test comparison with the Viper. And uh, as a result, I'm still not completely happy. Still maintaining 30 uh, kilometers an hour going up this hill. It's really impressive. The e-bike car definitely dropped off more than the skateboard up that hill. All right, officially dropped down the first bar and we are showing 4.6 kilometers. So we're on track to get to that 20 range been trying to keep it at 30 where I can but areas like this are a little bit hairy so going a little bit slower on bumps like this definitely notice 
in that shorter wheelbase. First mini board I've ridden down this trail. And uh, especially with those spaces, with the board sitting a bit higher, if you can see that there. Definitely makes it a little bit more wobbly if you're getting, you know, some bumps. Definitely a safe commuter board, just uh, don't commute at 40 kilometers an hour around other people. <laughs> I'm sure these leaves will be some slippery buggers if it uh, rained. These cloud wheel clones wouldn't stop up too well on it. An obvious benefit to testing a hub motor skateboard. have to take two on that because I just got stung by a wasp. Obvious benefit to a hub motor skateboard, if you run out of battery, um, you can push home, which is always good. Well, that was one of the more traumatic things I've done on YouTube so far. I had to pull off uh, my shirt in the middle of public. At least I got a little distance away from people. I had a wasp up my shirt, so I have to count how many times I got stung um, when I get home, but uh, dedicated to the cause. So uh, I've already had to jump off, been stung by wasps, and I'm only 5.9 kilometers in. So uh, if you appreciate what I do for you guys, subscribe and uh, give us a like, I'd appreciate it. Cheers. Yeah, fun fact for anyone watching at home, I learned this after getting bitten on the ass in my last autumn fall in uh, Canada by a wasp. Yeah, apparently when it starts to get colder, the wasps are dying and they seek out sugars, proteins, something like that, and they are they're happy to take a chunk out of you. So people thought Australia was dangerous, but Canada's the land of the killer wasps. Going up a relatively steep hill now. This one's a bit of a... Sorry, I realise my mic's dead. This one's a bit of a battery killer. Okay, mate. That's not the motors dying out, it's just me easing off around these corners because there's leaves everywhere. Had a decent pickup and acceleration up there still. kilometers uh, so tracking along pretty good still three bars left just got up there to 44 kilometers on speed mode three I didn't actually notice I crept up the speed mode but it must have been during the wasp attack of 2022 
stable giving it like 44 kilometers an hour at those speeds. Uh, it's not too windy today, certainly wouldn't be doing it if it was windy. Really notice the wind affects those uh, shorter wheelbases too. Credit where it's due, these uh, cloud wheel, wheel uh, donut clones are really comfortable. I can't say anything over a long amount of time in terms of how they hold up, but we're 15 kilometers in and I still haven't had to hop off for a foot break yet. So they're saying something on a pretty stiff um, deck as well. So get on your beast board, nice comfortable board. Alright, just dropped down another bar, we're going at 37, 38 kilometers an hour and we are at 16.2 k's, so we're on track for that 21, 227, um, which I think would be really impressive for that 499 price range. There's some rough terrain for you. Uh, no, not the most comfortable <laughs> on that sort of condition. I think you'll want a pneumatic there. Just got the first voltage warning, 20% as it dropped down to one bar on the remote. Uh, since gone back up to two, but I do think that's pretty accurate, one bar and 20%. We're at 19.6 kilometers, so I'll do one or two more laps, if you will, of this road where I come to kill batteries and then we'll uh, finish up, give a final reading, any thoughts, see you then. Third buzz on the remote there, now it's saying 25%. Just want to show you we've still got uh, plenty of power, the speed mode 3. That's going to max out at 41. Reasonably flat, maybe even slightly uphill. So that's really good performance down the bottom end of the battery. Got to be really happy with that. All right, got our 10% warning, one bar showing up, 21.3 kilometers. Uh, we'll start heading back. I can definitely feel it's starting to die off a little bit. So I'll do another kilometer or so, finish up. Alright, the battery is definitely dying, zero bars. We're still going 23 kilometers right now, but I've been around long enough to know it's near the end. And I don't want to damage this battery because I plan on using this board a lot more uh, since I've enjoyed it so much. So um, I'll check in in a minute. Alright, not a bad spot to finish up. So we came in on Relive at 22.3 kilometers, 54 minutes and max speed of 45.9 and average speed of uh, approximately 25 kilometers an hour and on our remote we are showing 22.4 kilometers hopefully it can pick that up there so yeah overall it got what it uh, said on the website got to be really happy with that at that price range 499 any discounts they have on top of that as well fantastic value in my opinion disappointing more people aren't talking about this board but my guess is they probably haven't given them out to reviewers so I use my own money to buy this board purely my opinions I think it's a fantastic board 
if you're interested in getting one before my complete review. And the special instructions, put Grizzly, they'll throw in usually a free pair of belts. You're not going to get belts on this one, but I'm sure they'll uh, throw something knowing that uh, I sent you there. And you use the affiliate um, link below and it gives me a little bit of help on the channel. So. If the video helped uh, make your decision to buy the board or not buy the board or you just uh, enjoy checking it out, feel free to give us a like, comment below what you thought about the video, anything you'd like to see on future videos, I'm always willing to consider it and if you could subscribe that would be a great help. The channel just reached 130 subscribers so I only started January, end of January, February so I'm really happy with that. I remember saying I would be happy with 100 views on my first video so look at us now, it's really um, really good so thanks for all the support i'll check you on the next one